guys have been sitting for a little while watching me doing some listening. Um, and we should probably get up and do some movement. So I made some wiggle cards for us to do. So I'm going to put them on the screen. I'll give you a couple seconds to read it on your own, and then I will read it to you. And I want you to get up and do these silly movements. If you have a parent or somebody at home and they want to videotape you doing the silly movements, I'd love to see it because I miss seeing you do it in class. Okay? I'm going to pull them up. You try and read it on your own, then I'll read it to you, and we'll do the movements. Here we go. Here's the first one. Take a couple seconds, try and read it on your own, sound it out. It says lift your arm. So lift your arm as high as it can go. Here's the next one. Bark like a dog. Want to hear your best dog bark? I know we had some good ones there in 1C. Here's the next one. Remember those circles are there to separate syllables. So sound out each part of the word. Sound out this part, this part, and this part, and then put them together. You won't see those circles, remember, when you're reading regularly, but we're using those to help you. So try it out. Jump like a grasshopper. Go ahead and try it. Drive a car. Now I know a lot of you can't drive cars yet, but you know how to drive. You know how to pretend to drive. Just don't speed. Next one. Munch on corn on the cob. Sounds yummy. I'll have that for dinner tonight. Bang on a drum. If you have a real drum at your house, go ahead and find that and bang on that. Pause the video and get that out. Make some music. Love that. All right, next one. March in line. Now, if you're by yourself at your house and you don't really have a line, just, just pretend. Pretend you're in school marching in line. There's that dot again and sound out those two syllables on their own. Put them together. Bite on a hot pepper. Don't forget about this magic E here that makes the I say its name. When you see that magic E at the end, the I doesn't say I, it says I. And that E doesn't make any sound at all. So don't forget about that rule as we move forward. Zip a zipper. If you have a jacket or a sweatshirt on, go ahead and grab it and zip it up. Always good practice to practice zipping our zippers. Arch your back. If you have a cat at home, you've probably seen your cat arch their back a lot. Otherwise, you can get down on your hands and knees and push your back all the way up. So you arch it, arch it. Remember that er sound at the end, separate those two word parts into two syllables. Pound with a hammer. Don't get a real hammer, but you can pretend to pound. Shiver in the wind. Not super cold today, but we can pretend to shiver in the wind. And that's the last one. Good job, guys. All right. Now... What I'd like you to do, in the last video I asked if you had a piece of paper and a pencil, take that out. If you don't, that's okay. Just follow along with me. What we're going to do is we're going to practice chaining those R, OR, and ER sounds. Now, we usually do this either with letter cards or with whiteboards or with um, big, large letter cards in our bodies. But because we're doing this with paper and pencil today, I'm going to show you how I do this. With chaining normally, I ask you to erase a letter and change it, 
But today I'm just gonna have you write the words that I'm asking you to spell. You're gonna notice that you're only changing one letter, but I'm not gonna have you erase it and erase and waste all that eraser. We're just gonna write the words. You'll see what I mean. So the first word, if you have your paper and your pencil out, I'm gonna use a whiteboard. The first word I want you to write is star. St R. St R. Three sounds. I'm gonna write it on my whiteboard. If you're writing on a piece of paper, write it towards the top of the paper. I think I like this. Oh, you can't see it. St R. Three. Three sounds, and I underline those sounds for you. Now, instead of erasing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the next word underneath. The next word I want you to write is start. St R. Oh, sorry. St R. T. Four sounds. I'll tap it out for you again. St R. T. I'm going to write it on my board, and you write it on your paper. Art start. Right. See how I just wrote it underneath rather than adding it to a new word? That way we'll have room on our paper and we're not wasting eraser. Start. Now I would like you to write tart. T R T tart. T R T tart. Three sounds. T R T tart. Think about what letter we're taking out when we go from start to tart. Yeah. There's tart. Change your board if it's if you mess that up for some reason. Just correct it. It's okay to make mistakes. Alright, we're gonna change tart to tort. T or t tort. T or I'll remind you to do yours. Ready? This side worked better. Tort. Getting all crazy with the camera, I'm sorry. T or t tort. Three sounds. T or t tort. Tort, I want you to change to fort. Or t fort. Or t fort. Think about what letter we're changing. Or t fort. The bottom there. Good. So we went from, let's read these words back. We went from star, start, tart, tort, and fort. All right, break your boards, we're gonna do another one. Well, I'm erasing my board. You can just either flip your paper over or write it right next to it. Next, so used to saying erase your boards, I'm sorry. This time, I want you to write the word sharp. Sh-r-p. Sharp. Be careful with that first sound. Two letters, one sound. Sh-r-p. Sharp. I'm going to write it on my board while you write it on your paper. Three sounds for, well, five letters, actually, because A and R is one sound, too. Sh, R, P, sharp. All right, now we're going to change sharp to harp. H, R, P, harp. H, R, P, harp. We'll get used to the scammer eventually, I apologize. Harp. Here's harp. Now I want to change harp to harm. R m harm. R m harm. Think about what letter we're changing from harp to harm. Harp. 
arm. Change it if you don't have it or add it to your list. There you go. If you don't have if you're not writing right now, just be thinking about it in your brain. That's all that matters. All right, we're going to change harm to charm. Listen carefully. Charm. Ch R M charm. Ch R M charm. Ch R M Three sounds still. There you go. Ch R M charm. Very good. We're going to change charm to chart. Ch R T chart. Give you a second. Here's chart on the bottom there. And then we're gonna do one more. I want you to change chart to part. P R T part. I'm running out of space on my paper already very small on the bottom. Part P R T part. There you go. So let's read these back. We have sharp, harp, harm, charm, chart, and part. Very good. All right. Now, if you haven't used the back side of your paper yet, you take, flip it over, take that out. If you have used it and you want to grab another paper, that would be great. We're going to do one last thing. Now, if you have a parent or older brother or sister at home with you, I would love for them to send me a picture or, you know, send me a picture of your chaining work, just like I'd like a video of you guys dancing. If you have time, send me a picture of your chaining work, and right now I'm going to have you spell some words. I want to see you try and spell them on your own. So if you have somebody at home that can take a picture of your spelling for you, that would so flip your paper over, get a new piece of paper. I just want you to try and write these words for me. I'll sound them up for you. Just try your best and write them for me. Ready? The first word I want you to try and spell is shorter. Sh or t er. Try that one. I'll tap it out for you again. Shorter. Sh or t er. Shorter. All right, now try garlic. Ready? Just write these words on the paper. I just want you to practice Keep them in your brain. Keep the skills in your brain. I'm gonna try garlic. G -r -o -i -k. I don't have enough fingers for that one. G -r -o -i -k. Garlic. Ready? And pause the video if you need more time. We're gonna try snarling. Think about what three letters make the ing sound. If you don't know, that's okay. Just try your best. I'm gonna try snarling. S n r l ing. S n r l ing. A lot of sounds. Okay, if you need more time, just pause it. Next word I want you to try and write is horses. Mm, yes, horses. H or s is horses. H or s is horses. Think about what we put at the end of a word to make that s sound. That's a tricky one. We're going to be talking about that more for the next couple of days. All right. Now, last one. Try and spell marker. Mm, 